some of the best human beings on the earth are the people who work with these trafficked little girls and women. My privilege as a therapist has been to work often with the caretakers of those individuals. And the process of healing doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come with a few warm meals, a safe bed, and a warm environment. It comes by literally creating safety for six months before you really even begin to talk about the issues of damage. Uh, again, a slow process. Many of these young women don't read well, so you have to deal with an oral culture and a familial world where there's so much shame over what they've been sent into. We're talking about slow, kind service that generally over sometimes years begins to open stories of such horror and heartbreak that you can't imagine that these young women have even chosen to continue to live. But those heroes, oftentimes indigenous men and women from their own culture that have been exploited and now set aside their own healing has come, and they want to return into that world to really bring about change. Uh, it is a young, small army of people who are committed to that lifetime of just small service that begins to eventually, over years, bring the stories so that they can be wept over and where there can be a new kind of anger and truly a kind of healing where, with no notion of cheap forgiveness, but with a real heart to be able to say, my life can heal and I can be part of healing others. Uh, when that begins to happen, those frontline folks who will never have notoriety, they won't be on your public press, they're not going to generally be the people sitting in my seat talking about the issues of human trafficking, those are the heroes.